we have a sensor, we have the trend line, and we have our circle. Easier than this, I don't think we have. This is just a way you follow. In this case, well, you, you should do the, the opposite. I mean, starting from down, because it's an ascending trend. So you start from down and you go up to the upper limit. And here we have the circle. This is the FIB circle. It's not perfect because we have to consider what we said about the trend reversal that starts here and not there. So this will be effectively very, uh, let's say more precise than the other circle because we will have more levels of price changing, but this is good too. And always lock the price but in this case, no matter to lock because it's always in line with the trend line. And if you want to add more circles like the one in this trend line, you start from here and you go down to here, which is not correct because it should be here, but let's go here. And you have other circles with uh, following the trend line that is from this point to the other. So the important part in drawing circles of Fibonacci and also arcs and uh, other things like that is just following the trend. When you retrace with the, the fib retracement, an example going from here to the last part of the trend here, and you have the retracement. And if you want the golden ratio, or the, the, the zone that we were searching for. Uh, retracement strategy, this one should be, no. No, okay. Here on zero, I mean, 51040.19 is the level that was crucial for us to pick. And it was effectively picked here and crossed and now we're going down from that just doing the same retracements in the past when it happened the same the same thing here in example it's really easy to spot let's go for a daily one and not for our yes here look at how incredible could be when start charting some kind of things like this Let's trace the line and see what happens after the golden pocket visit. Here we have the visit. After the visit, we had the crash. So we have we had this one. In this case, we retraced two times. So this is the big retracement. But being honest, I could retrace here. So not here, but in the first step, which is this one. Look the situation. We, ha we had a downtrend and the peak of the 618 is here. After that, we have the crash. And this can be repeated here, possibly, more or less. You see that we have the peak here. It's very precise. If you do things the correct way, you will spot earlier these kind of things. An example here, what would expect one from this point? I should not because I already used this. But if I want to forecast all of this zone, it's obvious because from this day to the future, I have to go here. How much time and how much I should pick with the price action that level, to me is just one, but this is something that I can forecast that from here, I will need to go here up. 
Um, okay, so you, my question is, uh, can we match these levels with uh, Elliot waves as well? Yes, of course. Uh, let's consider the, the, the most hard thing to spot in Elliot wave, the descending waves, because Elliot waves analysts generally are bullish. They are very good to write uh, ascending waves and uh, many other things like that. But you have two ways. One way is the way that Alex uh, covered in the video, considering this whole price action. So in this case, you have waves and you can also uh, do another thing, starting from zero and going to one in order to spot an example here and here, the diff let's do it here, and then adding the one six, one two, one four, up to, let's say two two and three six, which is very, very hard to reach. But if we draw the lines on the most important part of this retracement, you will see that the main points are respected sometimes and somehow. Let's do the 262. Two, two, and let's go here. Let's say that 1.6 is generally something that always retrace the 2.2 it's not the correct way to use just one single retracement but let's do that pragmatically and from scratch step by step so we have two tools here one is the retracement the other one is the trend fib retracement so let's start retracing from here to down and we have one kind of retracement so my wave I will not draw the, draw the wave now, but this will be my wave. We will draw waves later. Let's do this extension, trend fit based extension. And starting from here, going down to here, and going up to here for the extension. Now the same with the extension, going to here, down to here or we want to, to, to spot the next lowest line here like this one because this is all a trend okay and let's keep going from here down to here and up to here And finally, or not finally, from here down to here, more or less. Yes, we can go down. Uh, follow always the, the, the theory of the lines. I will not spot um, picking, let's say, rebounding um, price action here because it's higher than this wave. So I'm searching for real waves. And I will go here where I, where I have the wave and I will touch it here. Now, what we have here, we can draw it and check with Elliott Wave uh, structure. If our 1.5 is respected, following just the 20, and see where are the levels that I am intercepting the structure. And if I am right or wrong, Let's say that here we have um, a possible wave. We have to be elastic. It will be a combo wave, not a real uh, big wave. It will be the first impulse of wave one. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, I'm finishing here. But it's a combo wave. So it's a triple combo, a spe special wave that generally identify a triangle. But you can see that here you have retracements 
that started from the retracement one because we know the the retracement then we had the golden ratio here which is corresponding more or less at this level so it's complying with what is required i would say that this rectangle should be where we have to expect the wave to comply then we have the other wave the th this one and in this case i should use another way that i use in this kind of action that is related to So golden one two. Let's say between one two and one four. Matching. Then here, same concepts. Like this one, we had the down like we had down here, golden ratio, which is here. So we draw a rectangle, in this case, in golden ratio, like this, more or less, here, here. Uh, just golden ratio, a little bit lower than here. And finally, This is the, the other one that I'm searching for. The levels here that are not retraced because I didn't draw them. One, two. In this case, we had more. So we expected to be here. But effectively, it's because we are here and then we extend the line. So this could be my, my error too. I, I should have been doing uh, maybe on one hour time frame the context uh, and the repartition of this being uh, one wave in example one five with correction ABC one five correction one five correction and so on all of these big waves are not uh, intermediate but they are primary waves so these primary waves are composed by intermediate waves and minuet and so on so if we go to one hour the context will change and we should retrace the waves the same wave uh, for for uh, the same way for the subcomponents let me check where we are we are two earlier no two Ahead in time because I draw that in 2020 and I obviously I don't have uh, the time box until there. Let me go for four. I did this too in the past, too much in the past. So I cannot have the things that I need here. But generally, these waves are a representation in this case i drawn them in uh, uh, one day look at how this wave until here is a segmentation of one two three four five a b c one two three four five a b c and stop and then and again here one two three four five a b c one two three four five a b c and here maybe one two three and truncation this is something that is not predictable is the truncation of the wave so this is a case study but we have to go to one hour to find the the result of that could be um, in one hour could be a trend reversal 
or something that is spotted earlier and effectively the structure of this candle is exactly with the peak up like a trend reversal candle we could measure the trend as like a playground to to learn uh, it should be done at three three hours at three days to understand how but this should be the reversal down let's see what very very hard to do that on the past time let's see if here very hard to spot something that you have to prepare but let's see if it's this one and I'm lucky yes here we are on four hours so we should switch to three days to switch the to, fa to spot the th reversal but you can see that here from up we go down in terms of, of Elliott wave this is generally an important move that is called truncation because this trend until reaching the point here will be down but look here too and we'll never recover so this is the point where from uptrend that come from here but also from here we switch to downtrend you can see that here it's still up but it's not because it's pointing down really so these are the the secrets to spot the uptrend changing to downtrend and having reversal here the whole action until this point was a downtrend here where it is here here we had the trend the, the local ascending trend from this point practically but also from this one being uptrend while from this point it was down so this is the other change a little bit far from here maybe here yes from here up sideways down so this is the point where the if we if we do the waves here we should find the truncation in the intermediate being this the primary the intermediate is practically the same but uh, when drawing these numbers will change notation intermediate then you have the minor which has just number the minute with the letters the minuet and so on it's very very particular maybe studying the Elliott wave theory this will be really easy to to find out uh, in terms of the theory explanation. Do you think after that you want more details on that or investigating and retalking? No, I'm okay. Um, I got the concept and I am going to practice it on my own. Um, I let you ask questions from others if they have any and then we can for today hi i just want to say thank you so much it's been absolutely wonderful <laughs> thank you jules jules is jules or uh, pronunciation is different oh anything just jules is fine all good okay happy to have you here I hope that it Thank was, you very much. It was a, a yeah. nice idea on uh, how to change your approach, maybe getting <laughs> more confidence. Yeah, definitely. I'll have to watch the video a few times. I've got my little friend here. <laughs> One year man. <laughs> yep. <laughs> nice. So we will replicate with more contents for sure. But I, I wanted to set the easy way to draw these kind of retracements 
that are uh, oriented also to the time of the price action. So not just the levels, but the time too. Many of, of you watching at the video will be for sure very well prepared on retracement and many other things. And possibly some people will know the theory correctly already, but it's not so difficult. Just require um, a little bit of um, preciseness. Let's say that we have to respect the coordinates and so on. But as you can see, everything is already written in the price action. And it's just a matter of considering both the options. I have here a tool that I'm using for uh, the regression on polynomial forecast, which is based on ARIMA, basically. I modified the code to spot uh, the price action on historical data. And for sure, when we were drawing all of these lines, I didn't check this polynomial forecasting uh, calculation. But I'm now happy to see that I am in line with the theory of the ARIMA, which is the moving average regress regressive model to calculate is practically everything matches with these levels. So we are very good in uh, doing our activity because here I missed uh, a, a resistance. Maybe ARIMA is not considering the resistance, but we are very near with the result of uh, a polynomial recalculation forecasting so we could be quite sure 90 percent that what is going to happen in the next days is to go to 47 then going down to 36 and possibly again to 45 i i'm not sure because the polynomial recalculation now is done on 120 150 periods let's reduce this to see how much it change not so much 60 same on 60 we should stop on 60 because we have the similar i'm quite surprised because i didn't copy it and we are practically in line with that we should consider this price action move. It's a parabolic action of the price from the regression trend. Practically is using the same idea that we could have this way, but this tool, the regression trend will stop where the price is. But effectively, it's quite impressive. I'm not good, the tools are, are good. Let's see if it's true. If it is, we will go for a battle of champagne because FAST will short Bitcoin and will earn 600% as usual. <laughs> but it's something really strange. I mean, everything matches. Not just Fibonacci, Circle, um, gun boxes that I had from the previous uh, video that we, we did here from, I don't remember where it is, but it's here. Look at the resistance lines. Half size is quite impressive because we have what we did the last video that is confirmed we were here. <laughs> nice. And the second one. I am impressed. And we are not good. It's the technique. So just applying, look at these crosses. Next cross is here. The star is here, rejection, maximum rejection. Everything matches. I mean, it should be this kind of price action for the future. This was also the, 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 the price action with the golden ratio that we considered the other time. Maybe it is this one, yes. Where we had the price rejec rejection here and the golden ratio that was retracing this whole circle here and is pointing here and the other one is blocking here so let's add in this one as you can see all the tools that let's block the price here otherwise it would be tragical 
Yes. All the tools that we used the last time to draw all of these rectangles are effectively complying with the lines that are drawing, drawing our price. And I was not looking, but this yellow line that we spotted in the gun uh, boxes is completely in tune with the current move of the candles. <laughs> so, <laughs> quite impressive. I'm quite sure that the price will go here. I think that is everything that we have for today. I will split this video in uh, mm, two or three parts in order to to be more watchable because otherwise it will be tragical. It's two hours and a, and a half, so very nice compliments to you for following me so, so much time because it's hard to maintain the attention up. Thank you everyone and uh, we will chat as usual in the channel. I hope you will have a great day, night, depending on the planet where you are. I am currently on Earth, but I'm planning to move to Mars because I'm bored about Earth. Uh, if I, I'm just sad we are not going to the moon. No, absolutely. I hate the moon. It's cold and everything is gray. <laughs> So did you book a ticket for Mars for, from Jeff Bezos? No, I, I will go with my vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Evimana. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Fats, what, what do you think about this kind of crazy activities on charts? Uh, sorry, which one? everything here that we covered today because you are already oh. doing your researches and you are keen on every kind of tools so yeah so. i think even i i basically wanted to learn the timings because you know i don't know how to how you figure out the timings of you know how uh, when and when it drops or when it rises so basically i joined to learn the timing and so a good video actually and regarding the price action I totally agree with you. I mean, uh, but I don't know when will when will it go to forty seven. So because in my fibs also it's around the same levels, you know, around forty seven thousand somewhere around that. Uh huh. So yeah. So the, the, the timing, what... the timing, we will go to uh, this level of thirty four, maybe, or let's consider this one thirty seven, thirty six on twenty yeah. September. 20 years, yeah. How did you predict that? That's what I want to learn. But Maybe this video, video I think you have. have. Yeah, I will have it, yeah. Yeah, I have to go through the video because there's a lot of disturbance in my home. So I, I couldn't concentrate the entire time, but I was going through it and, you know. Uh, so I'll have to go through that video and, uh, yeah, look through that again once more. It's, it is here, basically. The rejection on this circle, I was yeah. planning to consider just this line, but I lined uh, my contents with the polynomial recalculation. But when I did the first chart, it was here, then here, and uh, considering the trend, maybe here, and why not here, because this regression trend tool is showing us that and then rebounding on the speed of light and going down again or maybe why not trying to get so why are we returning back from 37 i mean at the moment okay 37 is a support level right so yeah we'll have to see when it reaches 37 correct and it, uh, yeah for I, the i don't have the circles drawn uh, here in the lowest part because i should copy uh, let's say this one, this circle, I should copy and pass it down. There is a CME gap also, if you're aware of, yes, around. Let's, let's look at it. 
so if that gap is broken, then I don't think so it's going to recover very fast below 30. I mean, if it, if it gets broken. Well, this is on uh, four hour, but I think that on daily time frame, yes, it's here. You are right. From 39 to 37, and it's ready to be broken. So. And below that also, when we first shot up from 34, I think 20, uh, 28 to 34, uh, no, 34 to 37. Is is there anything over there? We no. Have, we have this gap from 32 to 30. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's possible. Uh, the resistance line here is at 35. This is yeah. uh, support, sorry. But uh, this is a support that is rounded. So what I was trying to do is to replicate this circle just to see where we have the connection. So moving this, which is not present, around here. And I don't have nothing here. So I should also include this other one. It's a matter of doing the circles because the circles are exactly what you are searching for. I mean, the time box and everything like that. You can consider these circles like the correct spot for the time box. Maybe around here, it should be here, yes. Right. So, Effectively, we have 32 confirmed from the resistance here. The 32 is a resistance, but between 36 and 32, we have nothing. So this could yeah. be yeah. The polynomial recalculation, as you can see, at 36, 35 started at an all-time high from here. So when we are here, I will see if this is a very complex formula. So uh, it's very hard to explain. It's based on uh, a regression predictive model. And generally we are working on 60 for daily, but maybe on one hour or four hour, it should be better. Uh, it should stop at some point like this because we don't have data to effectively predict uh, how much the price will go upper on 60 uh, old periods like this, because these are considered 60 old periods, not candles, but periods of the moving average. So it's something very complex in terms of mathematics. But I think that at 36, we have to do calculations because it could go up, but it could also fall heavily to 33 and then you know it's a, a question of sentiments because a matter of sentiment people seeing uh, the price at 32 will start having their stop loss their take profit in time they will start to sell off because they are they bought in example here at 29 and yeah. to avoid losses they will start to sell so it will change the game if we go to 33 I think that 27 is inevitable. And here, the last yeah. one, my last level is 20, is 19. But also 12,000, 12, but being honest, really honest, the moving average 200, which is my, my idea to stop being too bad. <laughs> on weekly 204 this one this line is the rendezvous the meeting point here and in the polynomial recalculation i have this meeting point here on uh, february march 2022 i want to be uh, less optimist and don't believe in these 73,000 
all time high new on November, although it is possible, because it's in line with the taproot, the upgrade of the Bitcoin network in October. So if it happens and it's successful, we will see an rise of the price from October, from the end of September, but October generally, up to the all time high. This will be money for us. We, we don't have to uh, consider it as a, a bad option because for the altcoins, it will be paradise. We will have, I don't know, ADA to five, Doge maybe to 0 0.7 again, and everything like that. Then the fall is inevitable and the polynomial calculation is predicting the same levels. Here, it is predicting the 21 on March 22. And on every site that it is uh, predicting the price for many assets, I was checking an example H bar, uh, on March 22, they are all predicting a crash because it's the predictive model of ARIMA. They are using predictive model based on mathematics. But it is possible because it's based on historical data and we always had this, that kind of meeting on the 200 moving average in the past because if you look here, two times, two times. Now here, we, we should have the two times on August, on uh, March or April. To me, it would be very good to have them before December, but I'm not sure about that. I'm sure that we have to, to visit the, the line because it's where everything is done is confirmed like in the past here, one time, the other time. And sometimes it, go, it goes lower because this kind of uh, activity was due to the COVID, so it's maybe too much low, but a, a touch, a rendezvous, a meeting here is a need. I think that at this point on November, we should be there. But if we are, we are not due to the taproot upgrade, then we will have to wait and we should be in line with the $70,000 on December, why not? And uh, then preparing for the crash. So if our short time is not this time, this one, it will be another one and will be tragical because this one from 73 to uh, 21 in uh, how much months? Five months. So in five months, this could be the real action. Predictive model reaches 98, but I've never seen 100 at the moment. I've tried to simulate many things, but 100 is a number that is very hard to get. So this could be a move that we could uh, see in line also with the moving average. Right down, it could be. Yeah. No, I have nothing yet. We will prepare a short fast. <laughs> I missed a shot on Sol. Ah, I'm not looking yeah. at Sol. My wife <laughs> is bidding on Sol. She is on short <laughs> from 200. Oh, wow. But she doesn't know TA, just witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> she is playing Ganesha. <laughs> playing Ganesha? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. No problem. So I will go to edit the video and uh, uh, conclude this fantastic yeah. meeting with you all. Thank you for being here. Three hours of time, so very nice from you. Thank, Thank you, you from you.
explain to us. I spent a great evening. <laughs> <laughs> bye, everyone. Hey, bye, bye. Thank you, Fab. <laughs> Welcome.